Hello fellow rogues and alchemists, welcome to another episode of Thomcraft, the Forbidden Arts. In the previous episode, we are taking on the deity, the Sun Spirit. This time, we're going to do round two, and this time we're taking him out. So strap yourselves in, sit back, relax, enjoy some snacks, let's play some Thomcraft. So, I made a few adjustments here guys, so that this way uh, we can defeat him. First of all, I'm not wearing my belt, and I'm not wearing my traveler's boots. Because when you're trying to hit those ice balls and you're jumping super high, it's kind of difficult. I'd rather have the normal jump for that. So we're going to be a little bit slower than normal, but at the end of the day, I think it'll be worth it. And then we got some arrows of harming, because those will work against the minions at least. And I have made an adjustment to infernal mobs. Um, I left it in the pack. I wanted to do that because it's been a large part of the series. It's the entire reason why we had to mob-proof this farm over here. And it gives us reason to have, you know, mitigation procedure. Well, side fact, we have to defend ourselves from Agent Johnson. Speaking of, you got to make sure that this is targeting players. There we go. <laughs> Just in case he comes around here. But that's why we did all this. So I discovered that you could turn off certain abilities. And that you could also blacklist dimensions. So I blacklisted the Twilight Forest and the Aether. Because we don't need boss mobs spawning with those buffs. They're already tough enough as it is. I left the ninja and the ender qualities on, which means things can still pop out of the farm. We created a mitigation system for that with all these barrier stones, which was a lot of work. And that's another reason why this is here. And uh, honestly, I kind of like the extra challenge, so I'm keeping that on. The only thing I turned off were the regeneration and life-stealing properties. Quite honestly, when those get added in, they're way overpowered. Uh, the um, Lifesteal, for example, if they tap us once, even do half a heart, they regain, they regain their full bar of health. And the regeneration was so fast that they could be sitting in that farm over there taking damage and just, the regeneration was outpacing the damage. So you couple that with other defensive properties like Bulwark and they just don't die. So regen properties broken, so I turn that off. So, that all that being said, Ubu and I have a date with Destiny. Okay, getting around is going to be a bit of a thing here without the double jump. Can I get in there? Whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh. It's fine. <laughs> it's not the first time I've fallen from heaven. Okay. Take two. Ubu and I have a date with destiny. <laughs> right, Ubu. For whatever reason, whenever you set him down, he has very few hearts. So we're going to let him kind of regen those a little bit. Yeah, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Okay, he's charging up quickly. Wait. He's... He's still got the baby. Okay, he's still got the baby. Does that mean he still has damage on him? So the baby's there. He, lo he no longer has rare snacking fire minion, the slowing B word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you you getting getting ready? Okay, I think you're probably healthy enough. Whoops! Don't do that. Okay, cool. That's how you click him. Okay, so he's going to be following me now. Sorry I smacked you, boo. Let's go ahead and take this. Let's do it. Your previous death did not satisfy your curiosity, human. Oh, I'm not dying again. You cheated. Okay. As you wish, your death will be slow and agonizing. I am not dying this time, buddy. Poop me out some ice. Okay. Yes. Okay, we got one. Okay. Got him. Okay. So 
so that's one hit. With that bounce. That bounce again. Oh, nice! I thought I was gonna miss. Come on. Dead. Good. Alright, cool. The crystallizer bowl is really helping out. Yeah! Three in a row. We're doing good. We're doing good. Come on. Nice. Hunger is going to be by the thing that stops me here. Darn it. I'm going to have to leave because I don't have food. I should have topped it off. If I leave, will this guy keep fighting? Will his energy bar stay low? I hope so. Oh, he dodged it. Not allowed to do that. Not allowed. Oh, killing me, Smalls. Okay. I need to get... Wait. There's no way out. There's no way out. I'm locked in here. He shut me in. Uh-oh. I am shut. You, you cheeky. Got no food. Can't run anymore. Okay, I managed to hit him with that. That's great, but sooner or later I'm gonna run out of. I got three minutes to kill this guy. And then my fire regeneration runs out. Maybe having this on will help a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I can move a little faster. I can spike them down a little bit better. Well, let me get between you and this thing. Oh, oh. Okay, come on. Okay. Gotcha! Okay, now I can't die here. Can't die here. Sun altar. Okay. Hoo boo. We did it! What it. Golden key. A bubble. Some Phoenix leggings, some Phoenix helmet, gravitite helmet, and some gloves. Now, can I pick this up is the question. I can. It's likely that I can also pick up those stones now. Whoo! Let's see what uh, these things do. Common dungeon loot. Last word to wear to breathe underwater for longer than normal. Okay. What about these? A very rare part of chain armor. It's needed to complete the chain armor set. Found in gold dungeons when fully worn, this armor set allows for fire resistance. You can swim in lava too. Be careful and stand in water as it'll turn into obsidian armor. Do I want that, though? Do I want that? Gravitate helmet. Part of Aether's best armor set. When the full set is worn, you'll get an extra high jump. Oh gosh, do I really need more jump boost? We need to make a magical armory, I think. A place to have all of our magical artifacts. Because I think that would be super cool. Wow, she's really looking beautiful, guys. But as nice as she looks, I'm beginning to outgrow her a little bit. I'm running out of space. Now that I have golems, I want to uh, get our food and a lot of our production inside the walls of our fortress instead of outside. In fact, these have been kind of... 
think this right here has been uh, kind of obsolete for a while. I mean, it's very manual. This isn't even doing any. What is this? What is this right here? It's not even doing anything anymore. And this is like eating into our tower. <laughs> we need to move these things out of here and get them enclosed and have run out of space. What we're going to do here, if we can get ourselves back on top of the sand dune, is I'm thinking of making maybe two more circular bases, one there and one there. Shoot them really tall. And then I can have these go up really high as well. And then they can connect at various intervals, perhaps. And each of those floors can have something. And those would be nice big areas. And maybe I can have like some farms on one area and that's where all the golems can be. This section right here, I want to always have sky access so I can't build anything above that. I hope, uh, I do like the shape of this, but I think that um, we need more space and that would be nice. And also the interiors of each one of these tubes can be used as well. So we need a lot more of this marble. And here we go. You can see I've been kind of drilling this out here. I'm just gonna make a couple of loops like this and there's gonna end up being extremely tall towers. So let's see, I think if we uh, start right here and kind of pull it out until this kind of integrates in the wall. There it is. Now that should be roughly the same, right? Because we have that. It's right between these. Perfect. got our outline we're using our sextant for that we already got the one side done I'm going to go ahead and sketch this one out next and then we'll start building them up tall into the sky get these higher as well and then we can start kind of connecting them and making the floors as we go up and this is going to be a grand tower this is, probably, this is going to end up being the biggest space ever made I think so that is exciting and it's gonna be fully magical so I'll go ahead and get this sketched out, and I'll be right back to you. Good thing we have a quality quarry, because this is a lot of marble. Alright, let's build her up. I'm just going to take it as high as my supplies will allow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa, that is looking formidable. Okay, let's, uh, we well, might as well tap her off. Did that go all the way around? Not cool. Okay, it got really close. Okay, cool. We'll just... Bit, bit, bit. Cool. Let's get ourselves a little bit of a wide angle here so we can kind of see if this looks like a bit better. See, one thing I'm worried about is that by having them up that tall, that uh, it's going to cut off the view for some of the... Whoa. Okay. Some of the other nuances we have going on in the structure. So let's see how that looks. <laughs> it's going to hide this. But it's going to look pretty dang cool from the back. Mama's excited. What is that huge thing? It's progress and magic, my friend. Stranger and stranger things are happening here. I've come to this swamp, which is right behind uh, this. What just happened? Okay, well anyway, I came to this swamp, which is just behind uh this mountain, which is that's right behind there is my, my building of the desert. I want that lava. And look, there's this guy just chilling here. And he... Get close to him. Not too close. This guy... He's an anti-player. 
Okay, he didn't amount to much. I don't know. Stranger and stranger things are, are happening. Not good. But, uh... I'm here to get a little obsidian. For my tower, because I... Right now, one thing that's kind of dangerous is that my... Storage... One thing that's a little dangerous right now is that my storage area is exposed to the outside elements. One unlucky creeper and... That whole thing is going up. So, I'm going to protect it with something explosive proof. I guess I could coat the back in aerogel. That'd be kind of cool. But I think some good old-fashioned obsidian is what the doctor ordered. See if we can find any more uh, lava just kind of laying about. Ah, oh, there's one. Right there. Okay, cool. Whoa! No! 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 No, no! Whoa! Oh, no! Gross! Uh-uh. What the heck? Oh, no, 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 that's a whole bunch of nuh-uh right there. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, yuck, no, mm -mm. not today and no thank you. Didn't realize that this stuff was creeping around in my backyard. That's scary. I like how that looks. Oh, this makes me feel so much safer. With all those uh, zombies that can shoot fireballs, they actually break. Uh, marble apparently isn't as strong as normal stone. So it will actually can shoot through it still. Okay, awesome. Okay, that's looking pretty boss. <laughs> Okay, that that's cool. I'm I, I am digging this. The base is looking awesome. It kinda looks like a spaceship. Thing is, I'm gonna make this even taller, like a lot taller. <laughs> I need space. Lots of experiments to run. Must go taller. <laughs> I need space. This will be a monument to me. They will fear me. <laughs> That's fine. I've never felt better. <laughs> I like where this is going, guys. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm getting giddy now. All right. Let's get to where we can see this from a better angle. Whoop. <laughs> oh, wow. That is super imposing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now that's a base. Base. All right, everyone, we're going to call that an episode for today. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. <laughs> Check out Sassy Rogue on her side of the channel. And we will see you in the next episode of Thomcraft, the Forbidden Arts. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye. Subscribe.